Good day. Uh, my name is Edward Finn, and I'm here to present to you Dr. Rodney Brooks. He's the author of a book called Fields of Color, The Theory That Escaped Einstein. And he's going to explain to us in relatively easy symbols, at least words, I hope, that will tell us something about this new concept of the Higgs boson and just where it goes. And, and well, I'll throw it to you now. Give us a little history of why people are talking about this Higgs boson. Yeah. The discovery of the Higgs boson, is, boson has been a big thing for sure. And it's in the media we're hearing about the God's particle. And what I want to try to tell you people about and tell you about is that the Higgs boson is not a particle, it's a field. And that's why I call my book Fields of Color, because I'm trying to tell people that the world is made of fields, not particles, and that includes the Higgs boson also. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, unfortunately, uh, since around 1905, the world has been, uh, the people who have been following physics, the physics community, has been developing ideas based on particles. Uh, this started with the first introduction in 1905 by Einstein, who I call the grandfather of quantum mechanics, where he showed that, the, that light appears to be made of particles. Uh, and that's one When of was that? Hmm? When was that? When did he 1905, the 19... paper that actually won him the Nobel Prize because relativity was too controversial at the time to merit a Nobel award. Uh, actually, I. The subtitle of my book is The Theory That Escaped Einstein, which, by the way, was your suggestion, Ed. And the point being that uh, the theories of relativity and the theories of quantum mechanics that Einstein sowed the seed for are pretty much filled with paradox, uh, hard to understand. Richard Feynman, one of, the one of his chief proponents, said you have to lose your common sense if you want to understand quantum mechanics. Um, so we have had a, over a hundred years of history behind us pushing physics in the direction of using par a particle description as the theory of what the world is made What's of. What's wrong with that? Works out good, doesn't it? Well, as it so happens that in the meantime another theory was being developed that was perfected by a physicist who was almost completely forgotten. His name was Julian Schwinger. And you know about him. I know about Julian Schwinger because by a great stroke of luck, I happened to be a student in physics at Harvard in 1956 when he had just perfected quantum field theory with, with his five papers called The Theory of Quantized Fields. He was presenting a three-year cycle of courses, which I attended. Mm -hmm. Lucky and you. This, it, it was only after I finished my career at the National Institutes of Health, where I did, uh, had a very nice career, and I think with you too, Ed, yeah, we had fun side for part of that time, we did some good work in medical imaging. Um, and I retired, went to New Zealand, by the way, and I realized that this great theory had been lost. And everything was particles, 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 paradox, paradox, paradox. And now the Higgs boson has come along. Thank you. And they're talking Thank about the God particle. But in quantum field theory, the Higgs particle doesn't make any sense. It doesn't explain what it's supposed to explain. It's only as a field, it's only as a quantum field that the Higgs boson makes any sense in doing the job it was designed to do. Well, isn't this true, though, that when I read the newspaper now, the science section of the newspaper, that they always call it the God particle, that we built a great big accelerator over there in Switzerland to, yeah. to find the boson, or, uh, the Higgs boson. And if I go and try to read the literature, which is slightly higher than what is given to me in the newspaper, I keep hearing these people talking about the Higgs field, there are, right? There, I mean, fortunately, what's there are going on? some some physicists. I would mention Sean Carroll in particular. Uh, I would mention Frank Wilczek, 
And I certainly want to mention my good friend Art Hobson, who is fighting a battle within the physics community to convince physicists that fields are the answer. Yes, there are a lot of people, there are a lot of physicists trying to spread the word that the Higgs, the discovery of the Higgs boson, ironically enough, is proof of the Higgs field, is proof that fields are the fundamental quantity, not particles. I heard something about, you know, the boson, it, you, I don't know, I think you and I are both in the same problem because we've been out of this so long. But there's a, I, I read that there is this something moving and that's what slows down and it makes mass. Yeah, it, it's, no, something moving that slows down can't make mass. The thing that can make mass is the idea of a field that permeates space and as other so-called particles, which are really field quanta themselves, move along, they interact with this field, sort of like something like going through molasses, and that interaction puts a drag on them and gives an effect of mass. And that's the essence of the field theory description. You're, you're telling me that's what mass is? Um, e equals mc squared comes in here someplace, right? Well, that's, uh, a, that's, by the way, equals mc squared is also a result that comes out of quantum field theory. One of the triumphs of quantum field theory that I mentioned is oh how easy it is to see that E equals mc squared. But mass can arise different ways. Some fields have an intrinsic mass. Other fields acquire mass as they move through other fields. Gee, that was very interesting about your education with Julian Schwinger, who happened to be a Nobel Prizer and did a lot of work on this, I know. But the, the ordinary person out there is not going to be able to go to Harvard. The layperson, can they find something that they could read which would help them? Uh -huh. uh, a book, perhaps, on this whole business of uh, quantum field theory? Yes, in fact, that's just, I'm glad you asked me that question, Ed, because I actually wrote this book, Fields of Color, The Theory That Escaped Einstein, exactly for that purpose, when I realized that, as I said, that this theory had been neglected. It explains the whole development of quantum fields, starting with the gravitational field and going through all of them. The Higgs field is just an example of that, and this is written for anybody with an interest in physics who wants to understand field theory. And if they want to buy the book, it's available at Amazon, it's available at Barnes & Noble. Uh, I urge them to take a look at my website and get more information and take a look inside the book. The website is called quantumfieldtheory.net with hyphens, quantum-field-theory.net. Please visit it and uh, judge for yourself. Thank you so much for coming to my home and we had a wonderful time. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye.